Do you know what is the greatest addiction? Wait, if you watch this video till end, I'll tell you. Firstly, what is addiction? It is a disorder where you have an intense urge to engage in certain behaviors. Now addictions are of many things like addiction of watching TV, addiction of cigarette, addiction of drugs, addiction of abusing, addiction of overthinking, addiction of alcohol, addiction of sleep, violence, sex and so on. Actually what we call our life is 90% addictions only. We are being controlled by these addictions. But why is it that we tend to do these things? Let's go to the roots of addiction. The first question that should arise is, why do we do these things at the first place? Most of us involve in these addictions because they want to have some peaceful moments in this burden called life. They see an escape in these things. Whenever something happens, they tend to move towards these addictions and their mind starts thinking. For many people, every day and every time is hectic and boring. So all they think about is these addictions. But we cannot say that it is wrong. It is a way to live. We cannot deny that. But is it even close to a good life? Surely we cannot judge those people. Maybe they have some self-made burdens over their head which they are trying to wash with alcohol which in turn is burning their skin rather than getting rid of those burdens. This way of life is not a life which we would choose if we had a choice. Even the person suffering from the addictions want to live a good life if he had a choice. If he had a choice. Let me tell you a story. A bunch of elephants were tied up by a thin rope which they could easily break, but they weren't doing that. They were standing there as if they were helpless. Even if they wanted to go somewhere, their Mahavats were to untie the rope. Only then they would move. One person went and asked the Mahavat about the deal with the thin rope and why aren't the elephants moving without you untying the rope. The Mahavat replied, When these elephants were small, we used to tie them up with these same thin ropes. It was enough to stop them at the time. And when they grew up and became huge, they remembered that rope. They know in their minds that they cannot break this rope. So they don't even try. They think that they are helpless. This is the same case with the people with addictions. They think they are helpless and are not able to be free of that addiction because they tried for 2-3 days with feeble will and failed to suppress the urge. So they don't even try now. They just think that it is impossible. Somebody else should come and free us. We are helpless. We want to stop. But we are not able to. It is all about the mindset. Are you strong enough to fight that urge or not is up to you. The only difference is of the mindset. This was all about the motivation stuff. Let's dive deep into it. Why are we not able to suppress that urge? Because we think that it is the only thing that is giving us some pleasure. Nothing else is doing that. And somewhere internally, we are not willing to leave it. Because we know that it gives us pleasure. But people around us and our doctor is forcing us to. Let's say, you like eating sugar. Now let's say somebody introduced you to cake. You eat the cake for the first time and you are flabbergasted by the sweetness. Now you no longer crave for the sugar. You want to have the cake now. Similarly, when a person is craving for these small pleasures, he will do so only until he is not introduced to a bigger pleasure. What is more bigger than sex, alcohol or weed? Peace of your mind. It is far more pleasurous than these small pleasures. If you have a taste of that peace, that blissfulness, you won't be able to crave for these small things anymore. And that can be tasted only through spirituality. So you better choose your taste fast. Let's dive more in. You know how a laser works, right? When light rays are concentrated and focused on a point, then it has the power to pierce anything. But at the same time, those light rays when dispersed and distorted can't even light a paper. 
What's up with that? When a person doesn't have a direction in his life, when a person doesn't have a goal in life, his energies and efforts are dispersed and distorted, and nothing productive can come out of such life. He can only involve himself in these addictions. Only when a person has a reason to live, only when a person knows what the goal of life is, he can concentrate all of the energy and efforts in that direction or the goal. And by doing that, that goal can easily be achieved. And if it is so, then there is no energy or thought wasted on any addiction. That's why an ultimate goal is needed in life. This topic can be discussed even further. But because I have to make the video short, let's summarize it. Keeping all these things in mind, if you have a bigger pleasure, an ultimate goal and mindset to overcome your beliefs and bondages, you can break through any addiction. Now about the greatest addiction. What is it? It is the addiction of thinking. Thinking is the tool that should be used when it is needed. But we have the addiction to keep on thinking without any break. We have lost the control over our thoughts and they are overpowering us. And even we use these other kind of addictions to stop that continuous chatter in our brain, to have a peaceful mind, to have a peace for some time. All of these addictions are just a way of you, knowingly or unknowingly, trying to escape that greatest addiction. If you are able to break that addiction, then every other addiction will fall off automatically. This is the root of every addiction.